Author and sales expert Lenan, Gar Lenan Gardner joins us in studio today. And you didn't bring along just your book. You brought <laughs> along a couple of stacks of other books. What's this all about? Well, that's some of the data that's come out within the last 10 years about how people actually sell things. And, and you're telling me that a lot of these things, as good as they may have been, are, are outdated, passe, over with. Well, a lot of the books that people rely on are out of, out of date. These are actually pretty well in date. You can read all ah. of these or read my book, which kind of gives you the main threads from all of these and many more. Now, yours is called God Sales, yes. the Complete Guide to Today's Proven Methods for Selling Services. Tell us a little bit about your background and in, in way of establishing yourself as an expert in this field. All right. Well, I'm out of Harvard Business School. I have a Harvard MBA. And when I went to Harvard Business School, I discovered that they didn't teach anybody to sell anything. <laughs> I thought, well, this is business. You have to be able to sell things. So I went out and got a sales job. Many people. There are 15 million people in this country who sell for a living. And then there are people like financial planners and accountants and architects, people like that who aren't really salespeople but who have to sell in order to survive. Sales is a big part of oh, life almost true. no matter what you do. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now in, in looking through some of your notes, I noticed that you, that you have something dealing with uh, the numbers 90, 10, and 90. <laughs> Can you kind of give us a thumbnail sketch of what that's all about? The 90, 10, 90 rule says ideally when you're talking with a prospect, someone who might buy from you, that prospect should be speaking 90 percent of the time. You, the salesperson, should speak 10 percent of the time and of that 10 percent you should spend 90 percent asking questions. So it's the opposite of the talkative, overly demonstrative salesperson. And uh, it, it's gone way beyond answering objections, according to your research. Way beyond that. People don't want an argument anymore. They want a salesperson who really wants to help. You also say that uh, salespeople should be thankful when they hear about the negatives. Explain yeah. that. Well, most people won't tell you why, why they're not buying from you. They just don't buy from you. So someone who says, the reason I'm not buying from you, Steve, is the following is giving you a gift. So you say, well, gee, I'm so glad you told me why you're not buying from me. Let's talk about that for a moment. And you may have a sale there. Now, we didn't mention that to you, you are a local girl. And so this is kind of a homecoming for you. You've got a book signing coming up. Let's talk about that. Well, that's tonight at 5 o'clock at the Barnes & Noble in Coronado Center. OK. And I uh, hope folks will stop by and say hi. Maybe uh, get reacquainted if uh, it's somebody that you haven't run into for a while. <laughs> Continued success. Thank we you, uh, Thank you for coming in today. Appreciate now, it. Now, go sell something. That's right. <laughs>